Today's recipe vlog is for all the seafood lovers featuring a very popular fish in Burma or Myanmar, widely known as Hilsa fish, or in Burmese we know it as Ngatalap. It's hard to describe the taste of this fish other than that once it's fully cooked, the meat is very buttery and we'll be cooking it in a pressure cook until the bones are fully soft. Hilsa fish is a kind of heron that used to be abundant in the waters along the Bay of Bengal. And here we find it at our local Indian grocery store. Today, we'll be using one large fish chopped into rings, equal pieces like so, and marinate it for a couple of hours with the list of ingredients here, which I'll have listed below in the description box for those interested in giving this recipe a try. Next, we'll be using some lemongrass to place at the bottom of the pot, about 7 to 10 stalks, just enough to cover the bottom layer so however much can fit. Wash and chop these in half if needed, then bruise each of them until they become pliable, like so. Start lining them up at the bottom of the pressure cook. This will protect the fish from touching and sticking to the bottom by creating this nice barrier. And then it's time to place each pieces of the marinated fish one by one on top of the lemongrass. We also love fish roe, so we're adding quite a few of these as well. It's definitely a delicacy, so this step is completely optional. Any leftover sauce from the marinade, you can just add all that in. Top that with some cold water until the pieces are all covered. And now it's time to cook. Carefully close and lock the lid on medium heat. Put a timer on for about an hour and 20 minutes. Without the pressure cooker, this would normally require at least three to four hours on low heat in order to get the bones to completely soften. And while that's cooking away, let's prepare some extra shallots, ginger and garlic to add as the finishing touches. Thinly slice or julienne some ginger, like so. We also got some chunky pieces of shallots and a generous amount of garlic cloves. An hour and 20 minutes later, remove your pressure cook from the heat very carefully and release the steam as per your pressure cooker's safety instructions. Once all the steam is released, go ahead and carefully open the lid to check on the fish. There's all that fish roe we added at the very top. By now, it should be fully cooked. The bones of the fish should fall apart easily with the fork. But we're not quite done yet because there's still a lot of liquid here and that needs to thicken up. So without the lid, let's return to medium heat and bring it back to a simmer for an additional 15 minutes of cooking time. Add two tablespoons of mushroom seasoning and a gentle stir without moving the fish. We're just about done. Give this a quick taste to see if there's any salt needed, which in our case we did not, thanks to the original marinade. Then it's time to add the prepared ginger slices, big chunks of shallot and garlic cloves. Close this with just any lid, not the pressure cooker lid. Continue cooking until the shallots are about 90% cooked. And 
that's about it. This is what the dish looks like once it's all done and off the heat. It's hard to describe the taste other than that it's on the savory side, but my favorite part about this dish is that both the meat and the bones just fall apart super easily. There's absolutely no need to worry about swallowing any fish bones. And of course, my other favorite part is the fish roll. Accompany this with some jasmine rice, fresh veggies, on the side or a Burmese mango salad and some balachan. We ate this for Christmas with some beef curry, crabs, and many other side dishes. And this concludes the end of the video. If you enjoyed this, please give a thumbs up to see more videos in the future. Until next time, have a beautiful rest of your week and take good care. Burmese eat, Burmese food. Ronnie, you want to grab? Nope, I'm okay. Alright, unless you want to try to kill me. Yes, I do. Amy, you want to grab? I don't know.